This is a truly historic meeting organized in such a historic place under the Acropolis. Together with Erfo Brabant, Erfurt Gelderland, we have organized the capacity building days for young heritage professionals. I have been part of the uh, organization of the Capacity Building Days on behalf of Erfgoed Brabant and we have been working together with Europa Nostra to pull this off. I believe it has been uh, a successful event uh, in terms of uh, it being a new step towards uh, intergenerational exchange. Now the question is, whose capacity are we really building? The capacity of the young heritage professionals or the capacity of the board and council members of Europa Nostra. Of course, we are building both. Hi, I'm Wouter from the Netherlands and I was part of the organization of the Capacity Building Days. I was also moderator at the theme track of Heritage and Activism. We had a lot of great days, uh, we saw a lot of great sites in Athens and we had a lot of great conversations with people from the heritage field in Athens. For last two days with the Rural Heritage Group we have had some really interesting case studies. Those three days have been filled with interesting conversations and with sharing of experiences because we all have a common passion but we have different angles that we look towards this passion and we have had different models, projects, how, to, uh, how people have achieved interesting things. So I've just come out of um, giving my presentation on behalf of the Urban Heritage-Led Development Group, or the Blue Group. Um, it was, I had such a buzz from giving it because it was the culmination of all of our discussions over the past two days. We spent uh, one day going to the Academy of Plato, which is in this sort of um, this neighbourhood north of Athens. We had so many ideas as to you know what we could do with this space. And similarly today, we went to another neighbourhood, very different neighbourhood, um, to see Hadrian's Aqueduct. And we were given a, a plan of the site and to say, okay, what would we do with this space? And we had to consider so many different things in terms of the use of the space and how heritage sort of impacts those decisions. Hello, I'm Antigone Michael. I come from Cyprus. I came here to follow the social cohesion um, group. I got to meet people having the same goals as me. Uh, I got to meet uh, people from different countries of Europe. We investigated the political heritage of uh, the city of Athens and uh, what's the uh, impact of modern history in the monuments of Athens. Uh, we're from the Contested Heritage Group. Yesterday we went to Tetoi, which is like the former palace of the royal Greek family. We were shown the estate by uh, specialists of the place and he really showed us like all of the park and the buildings and the palace. And we had to come up with some plans on how we could perhaps like restore it and sustainably manage it in the future. I believe it is a first step towards collaboration that could be really valuable for the heritage field in Europe. But I'm also looking forward to the next steps and the next years uh, when we are going to develop uh, the Futures Heritage Network and uh, when we are going to uh, develop more collaboration also perhaps with uh, Europa Nostra themselves. So. And it was also like super nice to be able to exchange and meet uh, other young professionals from all over Europe and to spend like some really good times together. I'm feeling uh, very keen to see what will happen next and uh, I'm looking forward to meet these people again and uh, do more things for uh, our common future. I found it so incredibly amazing to meet so many people from uh, Europe and even out of Europe and talk with them about heritage and archaeology and uh, I hope that this fight continues. Thank you very much, I appreciate enormously what you did and I promise, in, it's not, I, I cannot decide it by my own, but I hope in a not so distant future people, not when you become older and grey like me, but even as you, as you are young with your experiences, with your attitudes, that you can become member in the governing bodies of Europa Nostra. I think this is crucial. Thank you. So, so happy to have been a part of this process. So, 
thank you so much to the organizers because I know how hard it is to pull off something like this. So thank you so much. See you next year.